Um, will it happen? I, I, honestly, I, I don't know. I'd be lying. I, I, I'm so unsure whether um, he'll leave or he'll stay. Listen, it's going to be up to James Tavernier because he's obviously got a couple of years left in his, his contract. Um, so just need to wait and see how it, it plays out because I think the, the Middle East window is still open as well, I believe. And I've seen a couple of Qatari teams that were mentioned. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, what where his mind is because that must have been tough last Sunday for him I understand you get criticised when you, you suffer a bad defeat against your rivals for the stand I, I had it myself but that, I didn't like to see that after the game I didn't like to see that it was a bit too close yeah. to the bone for me for sure and when you're captain Barry how much more pressure comes yeah, on yeah, you yeah you take the responsibility Paul as I said I had it myself and it, it's, it's no nice um, I'd rather take it for the stands mm -hmm. I totally get that <coughs> um, but seeing that after it when mm. I'm not on social media but obviously I get sent it through by quite a few people and um, yeah I, 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 I don't like seeing that I can understand the frustration mm. I can understand it's raw after suffering a heavy defeat and having a poor performance but I, I, I don't like to see that I don't know what, what you think mm. that's me only giving you my personal opinion as I says, I, I can take it for the, the stands. And and listen, I had it quite a lot. It's no nice. You need to deal with it. But when it becomes right close up and personal, like the way that I've seen it, I'll be honest with you, I, I, I didn't like seeing that. Mark, what do you think he should do? Uh, well, I would imagine James Tavernier, Paul, in the wake of the, the Sunday, the result, and B, the, the aftermath that was aimed um, at him as an individual I, I'd imagine you're on the phone to your, your agent your advisor however it may be and say you know, find me in the escape route and I think it's reached that point anyway I, like I say I, I blame Philippe Clement from it because he shouldn't be playing certainly not at right back and that's been evident for a number of uh, old firm games now so that's on the manager absolutely on the manager the aftermath I think sometimes you reach a point Paul and I think that's a point of no return now for James Tavney. And for his own sake, and for his family's sake, uh, I think you try and get out. Um, so there's a few days to try and make something happen. Um, and I feel from, in terms of, uh, you know, I think of, and, and I'll use the word chancers that have played in that Rangers jersey in recent years. They've got away with Scott Free, but for some reason, there's a section of the Rangers support that just go for James Tavney. As soon as something goes wrong, he seems yeah. to be the, the, the fall guy, the, the, the aim or, or the focus um, of their anger. And yeah, I get it. You know, he's not been great against Celtic, but he's not by any stretch of the imagination the biggest culprit. Mm -hmm. And you look at his contribution over nine years at £300,000. Yeah. We've said it many times in this show, an outstanding uh, return uh, on the money he's given Rangers, but it's time to go. It's mm -hmm. time for a new chapter. Uh, now, Rangers may well have been looking for a fee for him, Paul, mm -hmm. a month ago. Maybe not so now. Maybe there's been talks as well behind the scenes between the player and the club saying, please, let me get an exit here. Let's see what we can do. And Rangers, it, it gets him off the, the wage bill as well. He's mm -hmm. possibly the biggest earner at the club um, right now. And I think they've got a ready-made replacement in Dujon Sterling anyway uh, to step into that right-back role. 